Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Popel from Gaming and today we're going to be playing some more Minecraft Dungeons. So today, um, we're going to be doing the second stage in Adventure Mode. Hopefully you have some better luck than last time. We didn't get too great loot, though we did at the end get that awesome tasty bone. Man, that's a cool picture. The opening screen for the game. I really do admire the artwork for that. Anyways, let's get into this. We got a Mr. Bone. Oh, it is something mo bone, something like that. Tasty Bone? I think it's called the Tasty Bone. It is, right? Pretty sure. Um. Anyways. Traveling to camp. Okay. I wonder how many times we've traveled to camp. Probably like... I'd say 30, right? You think that? 30? 30 times? I feel like it's been 30 times traveling to camp. Maybe more. And we... I mean, I guess we finished the game already. We did beat the beginning. Now we are on adventure mode, and then... The game mode I'm really scared for, Apocalypse. So yeah, Tasty Bone? Yep, Tasty Bone. Alright, so today... And I really don't want to do the Soggy Swamp, because I know the Soggy Swamp's going to be really difficult. But... I'm going to do it anyway, because if you look at the bottom, that can give me a Harvester. I would love an upgraded Harvester. Harvester's so good. But my current one, or my only one right now, is way too underpowered for my level. So I would not say no to another Harvester. Soggy Swamp. And who knows, maybe eventually, like, maybe for Apocalypse or Apocalypse or whatever, maybe we'll finally get a friend to help us out. <laughs> okay. Let's listen again. Is it gonna say the same thing? I think so. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of booze to empower the arch so and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the Illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Is it just me, or do we spend this whole time weakening the Illager army just to have the final level be the hardest? That makes no sense, does it? That... After we've weakened him, he's stronger than he was before. But once again, I did say this last time, and I stand by it. Pretty hard to have a lot of logic in a Minecraft game. Got a new bow. Oh, ooh, that's a better bow. Sorry, Bo, you're being salvaged. I want the enchantment points. What do you got? Radiant shot. I am tempted on that. But I don't know. Few shots really good. Yeah, let's just go with few shot and then power. Dang it! I was hoping I was far enough away. Anyways, um... I am tempted to upgrade Potion Barrier now. Now nah, we'll just upgrade damage again. And then we'll save to upgrade either our stun, Potion Barrier, maybe even Poison Cloud. Who knows? But that is awesome. A much stronger bow. Hey, that did good damage. That almost one shot at a skeleton. Does that have a homing ability? Pets attack targeted mods. That's awesome. Wait a sec. Wolf. Here. Now he'll attack that guy. That's sort of helpful, I guess. Now all we need is to upgrade our melee weapon. We have one upgraded artifact, one upgraded bow. Pretty good. Already we're having far better luck than we were last time. Witches! Witches are not fun. Kill the witch straight away. That's my plan. Sadly, we cannot go in there. 
All the huts. They really could have made this game a lot more explore intensive, like a lot more secret areas and optional things. But I feel like they kind of wasted an opportunity with this one. Oh, that was pretty good. Use. If only you could reuse the artifact and it like recharged its health. Sadly, it is not. Strength potion has an awesome. Just let's just go on a rampage of sorts. And he's gone. Thanks, awesome. Okay. That actually worked pretty well. This way? Yeah, this way. Explore. Explore is really helpful. I must admit, it makes a big difference. Well, mostly it just means I have to wait less in a level. Because often there's a lot of waiting for me to for my healing accessories to come back up. Dang it! I will finish off the witch, right? Yeah. See, that's why you target. That's why you take advantage of the target ability. Target the witch. It's almost dead. Let your will finish it off. I just wanted them. That's why I came down. Restock my. Or restock my stockpile after I, you know, spent 300 emeralds on pretty much useless gear. Destroy the bruise. I remember this section. We're back to slimes now. Kill the witches first. Oh, that was good. That was a good poison pad combo. Oh, dang it. Can't stay here. Definitely can't stay here. I haven't used a single healing potion yet. I think that's pretty good. I have the bread, so I will heal back to full. Tasty bone, you're back, that's awesome. Awesome indeed. Okay, let's run past. Which is time. Now I get to do you. Nope, oh, still can't stay there. Oh, that's good. No! Dang it! I want a range of so many of them. Too bad. Anyways, I'm gonna heal up and slowly deal with the slimes. Hopefully slowly deal with the slimes. They're very annoying enemies to kill since they have just so many, so much health. It actually seems a lot easier than I remember. Then again, it was the boss fight that was the hardest part. The boss fight at the end when he summoned all of the purple ones. It one shots, yes! That's what I really needed, a way to one shot the creepers. That was awesome too. And hey, my arrows are stockpiling up again. We'll deal with him. We'll deal with the witch. Hopefully we'll deal with him. Nope, didn't work. There we go, you're dead. There's more witches, dang it! I don't like the witches. Come on, deal with the sign. Sort of, to a degree. Definitely is helpful having the summon, Tasty Bone, either to deal with some of the weaker slimes or just help deal with some of the stronger enemies like the witches. It makes a big difference. Now I guess it is really high powered compared to my weapon. Or at least it should be. Did I miss one of 
one of these? I think it says I missed one of the potion boosts. Oh yeah, I did. That's too bad. I thought I got all of those. Dang it. That didn't go well. I didn't think the swamp that was like one meter deep would kill me. Or not kill me, but you know, drown me, I guess. Well, that was bad. That time would have been far better if I didn't have the TNT. Here we go. Potion pot destroyed. Gate lowered. Give me the emeralds. Come on. I wish there was like an emerald magnet and actually no, someone touched him good. Because that then his recharge was done. Oh well, start more accurately. So there we go. Now we just have to get the to the boss fight, assuming there still is a boss fight. And you know that's the hard part of this level. So I assume there's still is one. Come on, really? Oh, a little bit my fault. Okay, that was a lot my fault. Enderman. This is totally a new area. This, actually no, there was an element in this stage before now. And now I have my wolf. There we go. Now we get to the cube. Oh, right, the treasure pig. Yeah, I have a lot to look at now. Critical hit. No, this. Uh, gives you a chance to inflict critical hits dealing triple damage. That's really good. Last attack and a combo launches the shot. No, this is a better weapon. Alright, I guess we're sacrificing you. Because it's still a stunning. So we can still get you to level 2. Then we crit. Which is extra expensive, I see. That's interesting. So there are powerful enchantments that are more... I guess because they're higher rarity, they cost more. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I am going to save to upgrade critical hit. Because that seems really powerful. But anyways, that worked out pretty, pretty well. Now we just need... We could get a harvester. That would be awesome. Harvester regeneration totem? We'd be set. Though we are already kind of all kinds of set. TNT. Oh. Really? Critical hit. I love that one. It's moving the right way, right? Yeah. Oh, but it still two hits the illagers. Oh, but it has splash damage with that swipe attack. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I don't know why, but this level, I swear, used to be feel really intense, but this time around it feels pretty calm. Like nothing really exciting is happening. Still takes two weeks to kill, but I attack a lot faster. Yeah, that wolf's not that cool. But you know what? What am I? What else would I get? So, wolf's well, still pretty good. Better than nothing, that's for sure. More TNT, which I don't really like using, to be honest. Except that people died, I think. Yeah, that will actually work pretty well. I don't usually get too many good TNT explosions. No. Did you hear that dog growl? 
That was that was kind of cool. Another extra slimy, but first witch. That was really well. And then another bad bow. Oh damn, the wolf died already. Anyways. Wrong way. Of course it's the wrong way. I think we head out of this cave straight into the boss arena, if I remember correctly. Then again, I'm still not sure if they changed the map. Because it feels different, the map. But I... It's a little bit hard to tell. At least that's what I found. Did I get a critical hit there? Or is some of my hits more powerful? I guess some of the other hits in the combo are more effective than others. I really haven't been using my wall much. Ooh, this is awesome. I swear we're going into the boss fight right now, and if we are, Shadow Form's gonna be so OP, but dang it. Also, I think I've come to a realization. I'm pretty sure your arrow can't transfer between levels. So I'm actually gonna try not to spend too many arrows, so I can hopefully hold on to them for future levels. Of course, can't do it all the time, but sometimes you can do it, and when you can do it, it's a lot better to save the arrows. There are some levels where you need the arrows badly. It's a 10% chance of crit. Right? Yeah, too bad. We can get it to a 20%, that's much better. Strength potion, that's awesome. Strength potions will just let you run past and kill the witch. Wait, where where am I supposed to go? Up here? Up here, okay. Come on, boss fight. I'm ready for you, Mr. Perilous Potion. Which is just a cauldron, it's not actually a potion. Well, unless it's a potion that summons the cauldron. That's possible. Anyways, I'm gonna keep an eye on my arrow can actually, because I'm not. 100% sure that arrows transferable, but I'm pretty sure they do. So maybe there's a max one, so I don't know. I'll take a look. Yep, we're totally going to the boss fight. Alright, boss fight. Right. Arrows, man, that's a lot of arrows. You get way more arrows at the beginning of the game. Then they give you like 20 per bundle or less. Skeletons, but still. Same idea. Same characteristics. So many enemies! They really do! In Adventure, and I'm sure in Apocalypse even more. Or Apocalypse. Oh, a co Sorry, it's- I'm too used to a map. I'm too used to b 6 Where it's all called Apocalypse. I find I mix it forward a lot now, which, you know, ain't great. Oh, you were there. I thought you wanted me. Swiftness potion. Awesome. Oh, strength potion too. Strength potion and swiftness potion. We're just going to be running through this full stage now. I love how the, it looks like I'm charging now. Boss, right? Yeah, boss. Hairless potion? I've done this before. I remember from my last fight, what you want to do is just tank the thing. There we go. Exactly what I did last time. I have the lives so I can just tank the lives and it'll make this fight a lot better for me. 
in the long run at least. I don't know, my arrows are pretty powerful now though, so it might just be more effective to shoot. Lives left and is down to less than a third health, or at the very least, a third health. Oh, just go above, whatever. No, not what I meant to do. <laughs> Dang it! Am I actually gonna lose this? See, this is what I remember. I remember the boss being really hectic. Dumb called him. As I called him. Why is this so bad? Honestly, I don't get it. And I'm gonna hate it. No! Dang it! Come on! Oh! That really sucked. I lost when he had the tiniest bit of health left. But you know what? I still count that as a victory for a couple of reasons. We got a way better pro, got a way better weapon, we made some big improvements regardless. So we'll be stronger for the next time. Our old power level was 26, now it's 32. This is just gonna get easier and easier. So, I'm not redoing it today, but let me know, leave a comment. Do you want me to finish the stage off camera? Do you want me to just head straight to the boss fight and cut to it or whatever? Let me know if you want me to skip the stage and just go to the next one. You know, just leave a comment on what you want me to do, because I can't. I'd be happy to read the stage on camera in full, or I can just do a part of it, like a boss fight. It's completely up to you. Anyways, still got awesome bow, awesome weapon, and some pretty strong gear. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you had a good day. Bye!